Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla3 again. Um, today we're going to be going over statements, uh, switch statements. So, as you can see here, the last thing I was doing was the if uh, statements here. And as you notice, we had a few uh, else ifs, and I told you to learn switch statements if you're going to have a bunch of those. Um, so, basically, let's go ahead and set up a switch statement right above this. We can do uh, the variable, uh, the key keyword for this is switch. And then we encase the variable we want to test. So we can use var again. And let's go ahead and change this down from 1 to about 4. Actually, 0 to 4. And then we give it some nice curly brackets. Alright, now that it has some nice curly brackets, let's go ahead and define one of the cases that we want to have. So let's say case is the keyword here. And we do case, and then uh, since we're testing numbers here, we're going to say 0, and then use the semicolon to start the case, and then we can say echo var is 0. And then when we want to end the case, we type in the keyword break, and then we insert our next case. So let's say that if the case is now 1. We're going to do echo var is 1. And again, break. Now, if we go ahead and uh, get rid of this if statement here. Go ahead and run this. As you can see, this var is 1. And eventually print nothing. Var is 1. And print nothing. And as you see, we got var is zero. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back to our project. And to define multiple cases um, with the same thing, you can simply just leave the case blank. So we do case two, and then we do case three, and then we can echo var is greater than um, 1 and then we use break so now if we go back to our page and refresh there we go var is greater than 1 and we're going to probably add another case to this. Actually, and we do case 4. And again, echo. <sighs> Var is 4. And that's the switch statement. So if we go back and refresh, we're going to get var is 1, var is 0, var is 4, and eventually we hit between the case of 3 and 2. That's the good old switch statement there for you. And just to let you know, you don't have to use numbers, you can also cast strings. So let's say that foo equals test. And then we can just say, instead of having a number there, we can put some quotes and then test. And then say, foo says test. So if we go ahead and save this and run this again. And it doesn't work because we are testing var and not foo. Let's go back and refresh. So now it says foo says test. And that should be the end of switch statements.